The year is 1869. The president is Abraham Lincoln, maybe. And the first transcontinental railway in America is ready for use. With it, emigrant trails plotted out nationwide have been rendered obsolete. Except to this family. All right, family. Can anyone guess where we're taking our vacation this year? Are we going to the Grand Canyon? No. Old York? Not this time. Like a it? Very close. No, on this trip, we're going to Oregon. There's more if you'll let me finish. As you know, adventures are not about the destination. They're about the journey. Which is why we're going to Oregon on the Oregon Trail. No, 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 Oh, no, yes, yes, no, yes, no, yes, 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 we're going. It'll be fun! Dad, do you know how many people have died on the Oregon Trail? Did they die from fun? No. Kids, your father has put a lot of work into this trip. This'll be a good bonding experience. It's important for families to spend time together. I love you, honey. Now, all aboard the wagon! What is this? This is the Oregon Trail! And we're not all going to die! Dang it! A wagon sucks! No problem, because we have the next best thing. Let's ride! You're probably very confused after watching that. Hopefully this can be cleared up by introducing this family. There's the family patriarch, Batman, and his partner, Potato. They're as American as a couple can get. They met on the 4th of July and married exactly one year later. They conceived and gave birth to their first child on consecutive 4th of Julys. It was a long birth. And this is that child, Dingus. Not many people know this, but Dingus represents the next stage in human evolution. She is the bridge between the last Homo sapien and the first Homo millennial. Next is Blaze, the middle child. Blaze hit puberty when he was three, so he's very muscular for his size. His parents are hoping he's accelerated hormones will help him reach the fabled reverse puberty, evening him out before adulthood. Dad, Tumpy on his ox! And then there's Tumpy, the baby of the family. Rumor has it he's not really Batman and Potato's child, but a jackal that has tricked the family into thinking he belongs there. But that's a story for another time. Keep up, kids! We don't want to lose anyone! Mom, oh, Tommy keeps trying to find me! He's more scared of you than you are of him. Rise, Dad! We wouldn't be having these problems if Dad hadn't crashed the wagon. We don't need a princess. There are other ways to get around. You see, back in my day, we didn't even have wheels. Yes, you did! How about we sing a road song to distract ourselves? I've got one! 99 bottles of beer on the wall, 99 bottles of beer... Take one down, pass it around... Whoa, 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 whoa! Dingus! You are too young to be drinking. But Dad... Put the beer back, Dingus. It's not real! Just do what your father says, sweetie. Seriously? Put it back! Fine! There. It's back. 99 bottles of beer on the wall. Wasn't that fun? No. How about a game? This is an ollie from when my dad and I went on these road trips. It's called the Silent Game. Last one to talk wins. Ready, set, go! Did your dad really make you play that? Oh, you're out, Potato. Oh, dang it, I'm out too! Good play, honey. Your dad sounds mean. What? He was great! Being side by side with him on the road was some of the best days of my life. Dad? Hey, Dad! Dad, are we there yet? Oh, who are you? It's me, Dad! Batman! Your son! Oh, yeah. You. Dad, why do they call it the Grand Canyon? I don't know, buddy. Why do you keep talking to me? Because you're my dad, Dad. Dad? Dad! Dad, 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 Dad! Time for the silent game! Hooray! I've been practicing! I couldn't tell. Oh, you're out, Dad! You're right, Baxter. But just because I'm out doesn't mean you can't set a new record, right? Ah, perfect. Look at this cliff. By eyeballing it, it must be 100 feet wide and 6 feet deep. That would definitely kill the little ones. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh my god! Wait, who died? Oh no! Dingus, it's time for your first lesson in raising a family. You see, you're 15 now. By today's standards, you'll be starting your own family soon. And the most important thing to remember about family is that lying isn't bad if it keeps them happy. You are a terrible father. And husband. See? That hurt my feelings. So don't tell your mother that Tumpy is dead. Oh, 
who's dead? Not Tumpy. <laughs> Why don't you let your dad handle the improvising, Dingus? What are you talking about? Oh my god! What's wrong? Oh, yikes and a half! Tumpy fell down this cliff! I'm just realizing this now. What is wrong with you? Why didn't you tell me sooner? I forgot. Tumpy? Baby? Are you okay? He knows how to get to Oregon, right? Yeah. We'll, we'll meet him there. Now the only problem is how we're going to get across this crevice. Wait, what? Blaze, you're shaking. Do you need another blanket? I'm just worried about Tumpy. Oh, sweetie. He's gonna be okay. Mom, what happens to you when you die? Well, people have many different beliefs, but I think everyone agrees on this one thing. Life is made up of stages, and death is one of them. It's perfectly natural, and when the time comes and we feel uncertain about what's coming next, we ask our father. Batman! Yes, Sonny? Blaze has a question for you. Oh, sure, Sonny. What is it? What happens to you when you die? Oh, nice try, Potato. I'm not falling for that. Are you going to let me in, honey? Did I not tell you that you'd have to sleep somewhere else? Sorry, I forgot. Are you seriously still mad that I almost killed one of our kids? Honey? That's fair, actually. I'm gonna go sleep in a bush or something. Good night, Potato. Potato? Alright, I love you. Mom? Was that water park there last night? Roll up, roll up for the wettest and moistest park in the West! Oh no, I hate places like these. They always suck children in and waste everyone's time. We should go before- Water park! Out of the Four tickets, please! Batman, we don't have time for this. Come on, we deserve a break. What about our supplies? We need to watch them at all times. There's bandits everywhere out here. Oh, much your supplies, ma'am. Just focus on having a good time. Can we, Mom? Can we? He said family time is good. I'm putting my foot down here. I said... Yes! 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 Okay, I admit it. That was fun. You were right. I was wrong. It's okay, sweetie. It's not like a thief is gonna come and steal. Oh! We just lost six days of food! We don't need food. We have each other. Are you saying we should eat each other? I don't want to eat you guys. We're not eating anyone. And even if we were, you don't have to worry about it, Blaze. We'd be eating you first. What? The rest of us are just skin and bone. You're the only one in this family with some bulk. You've grown into a fine young man, son. Proud of you. Stop trying to kill our children! Blaze, we're not gonna become cannibals. But I need a cannonball in the pool. Cannonball! You need to get us some food. Now. No problem. You all need to start looking on the bright side. Yes, we were robbed, but look! The thief forgot to take one of the oxen! Dad, one of the oxen is injured! Fine, it can lay there and die. I found a man willing to trade some of his food with us. He'll give us a big chunk of what he has. All he wants is an ox. He can have the dead one. Sir, you will not believe your luck, because I just so happen to have an ox to trade. Before you say anything, yes, he's dead. Or so you think. Do you see my wife over there? She is the love of my life. Anytime I think of her, my heart skips a beat. Every night she's in my dreams, so my heart is skipping multiple beats of sleep. So maybe this ox's heart hasn't stopped. His just appears that way because he's dreaming about his special lady, Andugon. It looks like you're going hunting. You're right. Blaze, come with me. Huh? Dad, why do we have to go hunting? Because, son, hunting is a man's job. Looking for wild animals and putting ourselves in dangerous situations are things a woman should never do. At least it's what your mother tells me. What do Mom and Dingus do then? They're praying for us at a safe distance. Die, 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 die. die. Look, there's a buffalo! Quiet, Blaze! When hunting, you must always remember these three things. Be silent, take a deep breath, and keep your eye on the target. Now, fire! Wait, we don't have any bullets. We don't have any bullets. So what's going to... Okay, just keep moving. Come on. <laughs> Everything is fine. We're just going to wait.
wait in here for a while. Blaze, do you want to do some cave drawings? Everything is not fine! One of our children is missing, we have no food, and we're trapped in the middle of nowhere! I can get us out of this! You trust me, right? I used to! Not anymore! Because, Batman, you don't always know best! That is the meanest thing anyone has said to anyone ever! I'm taking Dingus and Blaze, and we're going home! But not before we get our stuff back from the thief at the water park. Which you lost! Sorry, Dad. You tried your best, but you're going to get us all killed. And I'm pretty hungry, so... Well, I'm still going to Oregon! And I'm gonna keep having fun! 99 bottles of beer on the wall! 99 bottles! Just put the bottle down! See? I'm having fun! Bottles of beer on the wall, 9 more bottles of beer. We've taken them down and passed them around, and now we're drunk at all, passed out. Dingus was right, that wasn't fun. Son, don't be a moron. Dad? If you keep on this track, you will surely meet your end. Your soul will wander the astral plane forever with other lost souls like me. And I'm just so busy right now, I can't hang out. You should just stay with your family. But they hate me. They don't need me. They need you just as much as you need them. Only together can you find your way home. Because it's not a home without them. You're right. Thanks, Dad. You're welcome, Sean. Batman. Jessica. Time for this wild stallion to ride. Another wild stallion. Excuse me, sir. Are you the gentleman who stole our belongings from the water park earlier? You are a very well behaved lady. Why yes, that was me. Could we perhaps have them back? Get off, scum! This here's mine. Because if you don't give us our things back, my son is going to beat you up! Yeah! Wait, where is Tumpy? Tumpy's gone, stupid! <laughs> You think you can strong arm me into giving your stuff back? Just the three of you? Make that four! Dad, you got us an actual horse? Yay, food! Now, sir, I've been nice up until this point, but if you don't give my family their food and supplies, I will hurt you! Wait, where'd he go? You already hurt me! Ah, oh, my arm! Just take your stuff and leave me alone! Yay, I did it! I told you I could provide, honey. Now you and the kids can get back home safely. Yes, we can. And our home is in Oregon! Really? Road no. trip! trip. <laughs> Look, everyone. We made it. This house is perfect, Batman. I love you. I love you too, Potato. I love all of our family. Dad, what's a family? Oh, son. Sometimes I think you ask us stupid questions just to annoy us. What? A lot of people believe that family is something you're born with. Not true. Family is a choice. A choice you make to include your favorite people in your inner circle of trust. People who you respect, who will protect you, and who you love. I choose you all to be my family every day. And I'm glad that you choose me too. Every day? Most days then. That's good enough for us. And we couldn't have made it here without you, Dad. No matter where you are, you're always... Mom, what's Dad talking to? I'm not sure, Blaze. We should keep an eye on him. <laughs> oh, Dad. So, now that we're here, what are we going to name this place? I have an idea. Let's name it... Tumpy. Tumpy. Blaze and Tumpy. No, just Tumpy. Blaze and Tumpy! You didn't die! Blaze for life! Jack's and a half! Don't write that down anywhere, young man! And with that, Batman, Potato, Dingus, Blaze, and Tumpy's journey comes to an end. But that doesn't mean their story is over. Potato and Batman lived in Oregon for the rest of their days. Batman passed away at the old age of 35. Potato remarried a banker named Viscovitivus Names were weird back in the day. Dingus revisited the Oregon Trail in her 20s and encountered the buffalo that had tried to kill her family all those years ago. The two fell in love, and that's how the Minotaur was born. Blaze, in his adulthood, moved to Los Angeles by the seaside. He learned to love his overly muscular body and even began training people to look just like him. The gym he built to train them became Muscle Beach. 
And as for Tumpy, I think he's doing just fine. My name is Tumpy, and I'm an actual jackal. <laughs>